What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we're going over the market. As you guys know, the super packs are going crazy. There is a giant, giant market crash. Before we get into it, guys, let's try to hit 50 likes in this video. Make sure to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new because today we are going to run a stream. Now, today, if you guys don't know, I'm going to go to Walmart and Target. I'm going to try to score big and get some Panini IRL packs. If you guys hit that like button and I score, either way, if you hit the like button, you will qualify for a giveaway. But if we hit that 50 likes, Within the first two hours, we will also do a giant IRL basketball video um, on like these rookie cards right here, which is, um, I got Lamellos, I got Onekas, I opened some today, man, but we will do it on live stream. Here's some Onekas, man. So um, yeah, hopefully we hit some heat, hopefully we go to Walmart and there's actually packs there and Target. So uh, yeah, make sure to like it up, sub it up, we're going to go over to market, there is a giant market crash and also... If you guys need some cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and or Twitter. I'm buying and selling MT, but yo, let's go over these packs. I'm going to try to go over the best possible thing for the market. This is the biggest market crash we've had all year. And I'm going to probably lock in Cam Reddish because today is definitely a good time to do so. As you guys can see, I'm super low on MT, like super low on MT. I have a million and one investments. So many investments. Today is probably the last day you can invest until season three comes. Now, here's a little thing, man. When season three comes, no one knows if the investments are going to shoot up or they're just going to be the same. Me and my personal opinion, I think they're going to go up a pretty decent amount. It all depends what you invest in. I was looking at some cards that I'm going to go over that I feel like is worth an investment because I just feel like they're too low. And one of them is Oscar Robertson. Now, why do I feel like this card's an actual good investment? Well, I got mine for around 25 k and he's around nothing too more expensive. But here's the thing. I've noticed that this card, there's not that many on the auction. But here's another reason why I feel like he goes up in value. One, he's 6'5", all right? So comparing him to a bunch of good shooting guards, JoJo White, Monta Ellis, John Stockton, he has five inches on them, all right? So he's got decent shooting. He's got amazing passing and decent defense. But with the size, this makes the card actually good for a while. He is the tallest point guard in the game, I believe, as of right now. So if you think about it, this card is going to have value going into the next season. I think for at least budget ballers, I say this card rises up to at least 35 k This is one of my top investments right now. We're going to go over a couple more. And obviously, man, it's Dame Dalla. Dame Dalla, in my opinion, is one of the best point guards in this game. Also, man, it's just Dame. He's just one of the best shooters, period. He's Dame Dalla. Who doesn't love Dame Dalla, okay? That's the one reason. I think I got him for 48K on stream or maybe 50K on stream. It's going for around 50K right now, guys. This is a this is a beast, man. First off, it's Dame Dalla. His Ruby's still goaded. Like, if you use his Ruby, he's amazing. His offense is a 99, guys. This offense is a 99, in my opinion. He's absolutely insane. His jump shot's butter. The defense isn't there. You could up it with a shoe. But in my opinion, I think Dame Dalla is definitely worth the investment. Let's go over some others. Now, this filter is the interesting one. Diamond Glitch. I'm going to see if we can invest in some cards right now. Um, we got Monta Ellis. We got John Stockton. Tim Duncan at 100K. Oh, boy. Okay, so... That's interesting. I think that might be a snag, guys. Tim Duncan for 100k. In my book, guys, I don't know. I think his price definitely rises over 100k. If you can get him for 100k, I think that's a pretty solid investment. There's he's not going to be in packs ever again. So, yeah, Tim Duncan for 100k. That is in a fire fire investment. I think that's worth it. So, next up, man, we got Zion Williamson, man. Everybody loves Zion. He's rocking around 185. Is he a good investment? He's okay. He's not that good on next gen. That's the reason why I would say he's not the best investment because he isn't for no lock and set. He is very, 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 very. He's not good at all, actually. He's just really not that good on next gen. His jump shot's whack. And as the months goes on, the weeks goes on, more people are going to get 2K on next gen. His jump shot is a little weird. 
not only that man i know it's zion he's super hype he's super hype but i don't see his price rising from let's say 220k that's what you're gonna pay for him so i would definitely not risk buying zion maybe sell your zion not a bad idea let's get to this next filter let's go over here man let's check out the shooting guards let's check out mono let's check out brandon roy because i keep hearing the comments man mono ginobili is he worth the investment well here's the thing with the mono ginobili's investments i'm going to tell you straight off bro here's how the mono ginobili investments will work all right i invested in pete maravich also for around 58k i think pete maravich is a good investment he could play point guard he could also shoot from deep he is a curry literally curry that is viable that's the way i see it but here's the thing man with mono ginobili it depends what shoes and what badges you have on him now why do i say this well if you think about it man manu ginobili okay this is the only reason why if he if he goes for a lot it's because of this it all depends on the lock-in set all right it depends who the player is manu ginobili is not in packs he will no longer be in packs for the whole year until prime or idle super packs drop so for the investments it all depends on who the lock-in is if it's kobe if it's Shaq, if it's Giannis, if it's something hype i don't know kevin durant lebron something like that then his price will rise now how are you going to make the most mt off the manu ginobili you could invest in him now but you really would have to wait unless you get lucky and he invests like 10k you can make a quick 5k after reduction it all depends but right now you could probably try sniping manu i don't know if it's a good time to invest in him he's just an iffy card in general um but looking at the market man you could invest in anything i mean today i was going crazy on the amethyst filter i just invested in everything bro it's just so crashed dude these are good cards like tommy g for 3100 mt i already have a million of him guys this is just a no-brainer investment i mean amethyst at 2000 mt you can't go wrong man even if they don't rise that much if you get them for 3k they rise up to 3500 you're still gonna make mt and they're guaranteed to rise at least 500 mt so my opinion i think they rise to two two to five thousand mt more for instance man look at luis scola luis scola amethyst is hot trash and he's sitting around eight thousand mt he was around 4k mt tommy g is a freaking amazing amethyst for 3k so i think his price rises i got a couple for 1900 i got rubios for 1900 isaiah thomas is for 1900 definitely think the amethyst filter is worth the investment definitely think it's worth the sniping now so yeah definitely one of the best filters in the game is right here another filter that does acquire a little bit of enabled a little bit of it is uh moses malone i had Moses malone i did end up selling him because i got him for around 40k i think thursday and he's, i sold him for around 58 so i made a decent amount of profit um now the eastern pink diamond filter is kind of ruined you gotta have to enable it out like i said you probably have to buy moses malone and probably have the check and maravich have the check i feel like does rise a little bit i think he's worth the investment because he is a lock in for jr smith so if you could pick him one up for like 60 ish k i think he would be like 45 to 50k on ps4 i think he's worth the investment because maybe as the game goes on the, tr the content probably will get drier after thanksgiving thanksgiving should be a big content day but um i think his price should rise man it all points towards rising he's a very good card i play with him at 250k he's very good at defense he could shoot not the tallest but i'm telling you defense speed speed's not the best but defense dunks and shooting threes with a decent amount of badges so i don't know man i i think everything points towards him rising at least 10k and right now guys the market is super flooded so there's gonna be a point in time where everyone is gonna buy their teams you just have to be patient man right now it's just not the time to sell it's just the time to pick up and don't panic you know why I don't panic because last time we panicked i got screwed don't panic right now i'm super calm i know that this market's gonna rise it's just a matter of time and one more person i actually want to look at is david robinson and now why is david robinson a player i want to look at well he's low-key one of the best centers in the game and he was sitting around 140k for a long time as you can see there's not that many in the auction i think his price does rise to around 100k so if you could get one for around 80 75k i think he's definitely worth the snag there's one for 81k definitely worth the snag i wish i had enough mt we're gonna have to get some mt we're gonna have to scrap up some mt but yeah definitely keep an eye on him definitely try it out man other than that hope you guys did enjoy the video have a good one peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure you be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt hit me up right now